which I'm not getting into. There's a new video that I'm never going to make because you Bleach fans are fucking brutal. I'm a Bleach fan. Don't get me wrong, but I... You guys are fucking insane. Okay, remember, I don't want to talk absolutely trash about Bleach. I loved Bleach. Bleach was, growing up, was one of my favorite shonens to come out. Favorite anime to come out, out of all the stuff I've seen. But through age and becoming more of an anime fan, I've found myself liking a whole lot more shows. And Bleach didn't hold itself up there a lot. But I still love the Bleach for nostalgic reasons. And I think it's a fun show. I think the characters are interesting and great. Now, there is one thing that comes to mind when you think of a long-running show. is the openings. There are plenty of openings, that, if not more, ending. And Shonen has come out with some of the best openings, especially the long-running series. He's like the big three. Absolutely. And right now, with the newer Shonens coming out, like My Hero Academia, coming out with even new, oh, great openings. I mean, watching the openings in a certain anime growing up was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had. When I watched Bleach on Toonami, I couldn't watch all of it on, like, Crunchyroll or something like that. I started on Toonami. You watch the openings playing them. First one playing it, great. Uh, and then switching up to the second one, we see all these new characters coming in, just totally throws you off, and you're like, oh, where's the old opening at? And they're like, oh, it's a new one, it fucking bops. You had Naruto, you had One Piece, all these openings were just phenomenal. But in my personal opinion, I think Bleach had some of the best openings out of the big three. All of them were very interactive and very personal to me. These will be judged not only by sound, but by visuals, and they both also will be judged on how well they work together doing that. What makes a great OP is not only the song itself, but the visuals can match that style and at the same time work together to create an amazing masterpiece. Now, I'm not Mother's Basement who can go into great amounts of detail about an opening I thought was nothing and then do a phenomenal job of breaking it down, but I just want to give my own personal opinion to what I think makes a great openings here uh, on scale of like from one being best to 14 being in last place. I may not be able to tell you the symbolism or the history of the opening, but I could definitely tell you the impact so from a reviewer or a, a watcher standpoint. Standpoint. Stand. Now, I will need to announce something right here, right now. This video, I think, is going to perform well uh, because ranking videos and openings, whatnot, especially the Bleach opening, is going to be really good. I think it's going to do well, and I hope it does well because I'm working really hard on it. This script took over a year to make, not because it was a hard script to script, but because I had to go into details on every opening, and every time I went into details on that opening, a week later, my opinion would change, and one would be better than the other. Uh, so it was always fluctuating until I got comfortable with where I think everything should lay. So that being said, with this thing probably getting demonetized, I want to go ahead and announce that I am opening up a Patreon. My goal is to do it at 10,000, but I think right now will be a good time to open it. I'm doing a lot more with YouTube, but I think that uh, two videos a week I'm going to be doing and been doing, um, except for, the, of course, this month. Uh, I really think that I can open up a Patreon and feel confident in the uh, either the response or confident that I think that it should be open. So head on over to patreon.com slash Cut of skin. Go ahead and sign up there. We got Discord going to be opening up soon. We got giveaway rewards. We have a bunch of announcements. So go ahead and hop on that train. If you feel like supporting me and the channel, then please go over there right now and just do your thing. With yeah. <laughs> With that being said, if your opening that you love the most is in last place or in the lower of the uh, category, then I don't mean it's bad. I just mean that it's, well, not the, it's not number one. Uh, in order does not mean worst, except for these two. <laughs> because these first two, I'm going to be really harsh on. I'm kidding. I'm not going to be too harsh on this one, but Chubra does end on the last bit of this, which is sad because when it comes to filler arcs, I really enjoyed this one. The filler arc itself was great because it tied into actual events in the show and chose a bunch of cool new characters, which isn't really a foreign concept for filler arcs, but this one wrapped it up pretty nicely. And it also gave us a cool little beach segment at the beginning showing cute anime characters in beach clothes. It gave us Rukia with her hair tied up. She looked so, so cute. The visuals were nice, but my problem with it was that the song really didn't hold up all that well either, especially when it was played side by side with the visuals. And for one of the biggest, greatest filler arcs of Bleach, it's kind of disappointing that the had to happen. Now the opening tried to cover a lot of what was going on in the actual arc uh, of this filler arc 
and that would be fine and what you're supposed to do but at the same time there was this the problem with this filler arc was there was just so much going on at once you had uh, a princess you had a uh, a new captain another captain you had this old captain you had this guy what was espionage you had ninjas you had power sucking people with weird cool weird powers and weapons there was just so much going on in this one filler arc that the opening tried to cover visuals over all of it it was at least to say a clusterfuck of a season and the opening is no different it's a clusterfuck of visuals and characters also i hate how they showed off a beach segment on the beginning but never really addressed that again that was it they kind of baited you into like oh here's a beach episode then it was just a bunch of storytelling through random visuals that didn't really have that much craziness going on into it. Everything was just way too inconsistent for me to be able to put this any higher on the list. So that's why it's at rock bottom. But the next one could arguably be at the 14th slot. But coming in at number 13. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this, but Anna Marosa is probably the most useless opening on this track. It did nothing except for throwing a bunch of characters in an already overpacked show. And a lot of cool visuals were sacrificed due to character screen time needing to get into this opening to show themselves. Okay, take like every single character of Bleach, like especially every single Soul Reaper. Now times that by two for their Zompok Toe. That's as many characters as we got in this opening, and it's absolutely a lot. I mean, half of this opening was spent for screen time fighting for the screen, trying to get themselves uh, shown. The song isn't really the most hype in my opinion either. It, it sucks you in with this really cool strum and riff and everything sounds great at the beginning, but then it just stays mellow and it just continues on that mellow ride instead of any kind of like higher or lower peaks. I was gonna put this at last place, but I will say the first 30 seconds of this opening where it's spent with the, it does a really great rainy day in depression and then Ichigo shows up and everything just brightens out. I think that was a really cool transition or like storytelling through the whole thing visually wise. Another one I'm gonna get absolutely garbage for. <laughs> get trashed on this whole thing. Ichiro no Hana is one of the most unique ones out of the whole entire set list. Like, there's no other opening that's like this. And it kind of came out of nowhere, seeing as how we had the first one being really poppish and the second one being kind of rockish, and this one was being straight metal. And although the song was fun and great and very energetic, there wasn't much visually going on to compensate for this or to complement it. Just showcasing some fights, and that's really why this is so lower on the list. Number 12, another one I'm gonna get garbage for until we get to that middle point of the video. Uh, After Dark. Now, I'm gonna say this, Asian Kung Fu Generation got robbed on this one. This was a solid song that was so unique and it had the great sound of Asian Kung Fu Generation. It was so nice to listen to that was just robbed visually. My problem was the direction of the visuals. Like, where the fuck were they going with this thing? First, you had this dripple red blood effect that happens for the credits that really didn't feel, sound like it belonged anywhere. And every time it did sound like it belonged somewhere, it didn't, it, it didn't fit. And it was really only there to showcase the credits, so you didn't have words on the top of the other part of the opening. So every time they needed to put in credits, they would add this dripple blood red effect, and you could have had these credits on anywhere of the opening and it would have not look bad. You could have put it over Orihime Drowning, you could have put it over anywhere. Just instead of cutting a great opening and getting into the visuals and getting into this opening and then hard cutting to a blood dripple effect that just kind of th took you back. Overall, the Espada's all in the room and the zooming out was a great effect. I really loved that visually. And I thought that was probably the best part of this opening. Also, there's like a really cool badass drop that happens that you think would happen during the course, but it doesn't. It's just a still of them zooming out. Literally nothing that goes with the visuals go with the music. It's all, I, I swear to God, if you take the song and you minus it back five seconds, it probably would match up more than what it already is. I will give it though, Ichigo flying in with his mask flying off and trying to bitch slap Aizen was probably one of the best things to see in this opening also. I thought that was really cool and hands down cool to look at. But this sits at number 12. 
One word, style. Two words, flashback, which may be also one word. Three words, not doing shit. Rambuno Melody has nothing going on for it visually, but I can't bring myself to hate it. The vibrato of the voice is something I've always appreciated in these openings, uh, especially with certain bands. And these guys definitely have that. Visually, there's something going on for it, but it did have style. It's straight up those old urban shots and then it goes straight into a film strip. And putting credits into it was an excellent way to use space on the screen. They knew where they're gonna put the credits on way better than they did with After Dark. And when the chorus hits, it showcases all the major characters and all the key components of the story uh, with this nitty gritty, great looking filter over it. It's just such a great shot. And we've never seen something in an opening so far uh, with this series that looked like this and we never did again which is why I like it so much. So it may not go so high on the list for me, but the uniqueness definitely made it not in last place. Number 10, change. Change is the 12th opening of the series. It's just so simple and it knows what it's going for and it covers a lot of the key components of the show, the hypest moments of the show. Maybe After Dark could have been fixed by this also because maybe it could have showcased some of the more coolest parts that it showcased during its run as an opening. It has a bunch of fights in it. It shows the visors coming in to whoop ass. It shows Ichigo and Ukiyora fighting. Uh, Start being a badass with some backstory hints because he was a big uh, component in this se uh, season. The music keeps on delivering and keeping like, itself entertaining or hype. It keeps you involved with the opening visual, like watching it as an entertainment piece. And it's a really fast opening too, like it's over before you know it. And a really great small piece to this thing that makes this opening so great is the transitions when they swing. There's a lot of transitions they use. Uh, the uh, They take advantage of swinging. Oh, and it also has this. Wow! Oh, and if I had to bitch about one more thing about change, it would be the fact that uh, there's this really one shot with the captains and Aizen uh, switching themselves, and it looks almost similar to the first opening where they did this. And I just kind of think they could have copied that and it would have looked a lot better, but it was feel like it was a lazy PowerPoint transition-esque kind of thing. So there's, there's that. The techno one, right now, hear me out. This, I wanted to put lower on the list. Visually standing, there's not much going on, admittedly. It just showcases a little bit of fights and a little bit of uh, nostalgic background. Because this was supposed to be the changing point of the show where it went from the monster of the week into more of lore in detail into the Soul Society and more big opponents. It introduced the world of the Soul Society. It introduced a whole bunch of Soul Reapers. Like a whole, like a, a, a butt ton of Soul Reapers. Like every Soul Reaper. Now tell me you were not hype when you watched this opening and then right back to your fight with Kampachi and Ichigo. Like this opening did a pretty good job of getting you hype with all the fights going on. Especially showcasing a lot of the fights that they were going on and even matching up enemies together that weren't going to fight in the show but gave you a really cool perspective. Like this opening did a really clean cut job of showcasing what you're getting into. And it didn't all, although it didn't have style, like some of the openings that the first opening had, it definitely had storytelling and story building and expectations that gave you. The music tempo was so great for all the jerky moves. I love it when you have a bunch of jerky visuals going around and the opening plays with it and it goes together so well. Soul Weeper did a lot of this. Remember when like Soul Weeper had the do, 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 that, that, yeah, that's how it sounded, Dakota. That's exactly how that sounded. But then when you did it, it was a lot of jerky visuals of Maka trying to grab Soul's arm and then arms going back and forth the frame as Soul transformed. That was a great example of the jerky visuals being matched by great up and down tones of the opening. And I hope you understand why this is so higher on the list than some of the ones that I mentioned before, because I'm pretty sure you guys would hate me for having this so high. Number eight is Alones. Honestly, I wanted to put this lower on the list for one reason or one reason only is that we got Khan singing. The first thing we're greeted to in this opening is Khan's face and that's... 
That's Colin. But it's cute and unique, and there are so many points of this opening that are really creative. At this point in the show, there's so much going on with the Ron cars showing up and Ichigo getting these powers under control. Or he may being a dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> Sorry. It showcases just enough characters to be create to, to give it a showtime and be not too clusterfucky, uh, and just kind of be interesting too, so you know what you're getting into with this season. And it wasn't overwhelming. Musically, it's upbeat and it's solid. It's done by Aqua Times, which has never made a bad track for me in an anime opening. I do believe they've done two openings on the show and not just the one. Number seven, we're at the halfway point. Walk up with the only Tonight, tonight, tonight. Coming out of left field, I will say that the Bounds arc is probably one of the weakest arcs. We've already talked, we know about this. Like everybody, nobody likes the Bounce arc. And it is one of the weakest arcs of the series regarded to many fans. But Tonight, Tonight, Tonight was the point where style was shown. At some point, this show decided to go a whole lot darker than it was. Like all the openings were really nitty gritty and darker at some points, and except for the case of Shoujo S or Chubra, and it's a shame that this opening, a lot of visuals had to be wasted on the bounce art. But the off-camera art and shots that were going on and the uh, casual clothes wearing of the captains and other characters that we love was phenomenally entertaining and great as a fan. And it was a real mwah, treat. Even giving homages to the original opening. And it's also the first time in like three openings we see so much charisma going into the, uh, an opening. Number two, you just had a bunch of fighting in it. Number three, which is nitty gritty and dark and also had a bunch of fighting into it. But this one was so bright, poppy, and had color. The opening is a solid track and I'm a big fan of the heavy guitar. The chords were great, the lyrics were great. And if there was one thing I had to take from the entirety of this bounce arc was the opening was a solid banger. Also, Rookie is really cute right here. Number six, we're in, we're in we're the end game, game folks. Velonica, now talk about a solid opening. This brought you in with fat, deep bass, bass drums. And oh gosh, so good. And then it hits you. Thick two C's bass line, the electronic looping in the background. It was just a solid, unique opening. And oh my God, the verses, and the, the first verse of just in this opening was so crazy fast. That it was something I've never heard before being you new anime fan. Uh, I never really heard before in Japanese music, J-Rock. Like, oh wow, singing in Japanese, pretty bonkers. Singing fast in Japanese? Oh my God. In scripting uh, my opinions on this one specifically, I've learned that YouTube absolutely hates uh, bleach openings. Like ideally just completely hates uh, bleach openings. <laughs> Visually, the opening kicks off with some video overlay, but with dark, but yet vibrant colors before expanding and exploding and giving you awesome free stills of the captains and other characters. And in a style that I haven't really seen done again until Shoujo S? before returning to the desert with Hueco Mundo arc. It does a really great shot of uh, Ichigo animation, uh, which is really great before the uh, ambiguous uh, looking out into the sunset. And the visuals could be better, but I will get past it for the great still shots and art done for the captains and other characters. But visually it could be a little bit, a little bit better. Blue comes in for many reasons at number five. Uh, and one of the reasons is, is that it is one of the best, if not the best openings for all the filler arcs. I think Bleach took their time with this opening because it was the last filler arc they were gonna get and they put a lot of work into it. It looked, paid off really nicely. It opens up and continues to stay heavy and it slows down, but only for a little bit, just to build up enough tension for the song to really burst back up. The song is solid, and may I say again, I love vibrato, and I love that in the voice. If there's one thing I can critique this opening for, other than using new visuals or screens, it used a lot of old visuals and screens from previous arcs, well-transitioned images. Uh, I just think this is probably the best opening out of all the fillers. All right, we're at top four here, and I think we already know which ones they are. 
夢にまで見たような世界で争いもなく平和に暮らしたい Number four is Rolling Star. Call me a sucker for slow acoustic openings, and especially by Yui. Rolling Star delivers on all of that, especially opening up for this opening. It just gives a solid delivery. The visuals are clean looking, it's not too crammed. It's not trying to figure out what it wants to be. It has a really even style of、uh, showing you what's going to be in the story and its own kind of stylistic visuals. It continues to have a nice, vibrant color, a nice background, but jumps into this really nice, dark, neon sign esque city with dark fight scenes and neon signs. And Rolling Star does an amazing job of not slowing down. And if it does slow down, it doesn't feel like it. When the guitar riff hits, it's a non stop beat of melody and music and Openings and really blending together well. The majority of this credit goes to the song, goes to Yui's powerful voice and her ability to sing energetically through a whole entire track without letting a beat drop. Shoujo S has always been my go to for number one opening in this show. I've always appreciated it and loved it. And it was one of the first songs I ever was so nerdy, weeby, cringy trying to look up the lyrics and learn the lyrics. It's one of the few songs I actually know in Japanese because my cringy high school would,、uh, kid self wouldn't shut the fuck up learning it. <laughs> and this was one of the moments where Scandal really showed out to me because they were obviously. Uh, great, and they and they were in this show's openings like twice, which we've seen before, but with Scandal, it was more prevalent and obvious who they were.、Uh, and out of the whole entire bands,、uh, they were one of, other than other than obvious ones like Kung Fu Generation, they really stood out to where you noticed them as a band and who I wonder who these girls are and whatnot. Sure, Ichigo make it look a little weird running right here, but other than that, had great characters dancing. It was just a phenomenal opening. And I will guarantee you, if you tell somebody who they're, if, what's your favorite opening, and if it's not the first one, it's probably going to be Shoujo S. <laughs> Number two. Now, this is the one you're worried about because it's gonna, either going to be one or the other. And then the first one's gonna be the one that's obvious. And I think that this comes as no surprise that either one of these could be the first one in the、um, number one. But number two in my list. Is Harukaze another、uh, scandal song? If I was to tell you, hey, which band was in、uh, the openings for Bleach? More than likely, your first one's gonna go, oh, Scandal was definitely in there. For the final season of Bleach, Harukaze was used, and I don't think Scandal had any question of coming back for another one. And honestly, I like Harukaze more than I like Shoujo S. Shoujo S is nice, it's classic, but Harukaze has a lot of personality in its song itself. And there's even an homage to all the other Bleach episodes where it shows all the number episodes that were all the art for. I had a lot to take in for this opening visually. You had to implement all the old characters, the time skip, the background characters, and even a bunch of these new characters. And even hinting at their powers. Fight scenes and all of this opening stays very stylistic and it shows off the new kind of style of、uh, character design and animation that the show came on. And it's such a clean, clean opening. It's probably one of the most clean cut openings out there. All around, The most solid of Bleach openings, Harukaze, is a great example, and what a great one to end off on for the last episode of the series. Number one, Asterix. Now, this is totally not a nostalgic thing, I swear. As soon as that opening came on in Toonami, I was hooked automatically. The opening had so much style and character to it that it was impossible to show any other opening、uh, for my first ever one and draw me into an investment of a series like this. It, the vibrant colors, the introducing to all the characters. This was the first time I was seeing any of these characters and showing their personalities and being energetic was a, it was a treat. And it was a great way to introduce them. There were so many different styles into this opening. It had clips from the actual anime, it had 
different styles of anime on the no their own. It gave so many different unique transitions that it didn't, it may have seemed like a clusterfuck, but the style style was so unique that it didn't really matter if there were so many different styles of animation and transitions. It also paid attention to all the characters in the show, and it gave us great details on those characters. For example, all the outfits were like homages to the manga, it kept true to its manga art style. It always it was covered in red, white, and blue that we get from the logo. I mean, even if it did have a PowerPoint transition at one point, the song itself was a great opening with all those different stylistic voices of Orange Range. And season one of Bleach is such a breath of fresh air that it needed an opening to kind of complement it in the same regard. Despite 366 episodes and OVA and four, three, four movies, this opening will always take you back to a very simpler time of Bleach and always bring back a nostalgic feeling because it embedded itself as that and it stapled itself as that. This song is so good, Scandal did a cover of it. They also did another cover of a different song too, but the, Scandal did a cover of the opening. <laughs> They also covered Alone's, but they also did uh, Asterix. So when I said that Scandal, I really wanted to be in the number one slot, technically they're in the number one slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the logo colors? Red, white, and blue? Yeah, put that everywhere. Make a silhouette of Ichigo and Rukia bitching at each other, which they always do in the first season, and then break the actual camera, make them move away, and leave Khan on the ground, giving it the perfect height to introduce Khan since he's such a small character. Like, sh small details like that were perfect. Grand Fisher being one of the villains in the first season uh, wasn't even really shown. When Ichigo was fighting in the forest, it was against a bunch of other Soul Reapers, which he doesn't really do. The opening didn't show fight scenes from the actual anime that happened in the first season. It gave you a bunch of more visuals that you could really enjoy and take in without even knowing what's going to happen in the season. The opening didn't just create an opening for a season of a show or an arc. The opening defined itself as a Bleach opening, and I think that was probably the best one that's ever done that in the history of Bleach openings, which is why it has to be number one for me. I mean, when you hear the cymbal and the drum hit, you know what's going to be happening. You know you're gonna see a freaking stylistic opening that you've never seen before or has been recreated. I'm not sure what the other ones lost upon this uh, that, or they couldn't copy from the first opening. Honestly, there's no other opening like this. I know many people aren't really gonna agree with my list or my rankings, but that's my own personal ranking system. Everybody has their own favorites. Everybody has their first nostalgic hits with this. Everybody has their first opening they've watched. And so everybody's opinion is different. If you wanna go ahead and tell me your opinions and what you think, please give me a list down below in the comment section of ranking your favorite openings. Cause I would love to hear from you and why. Uh, if you don't agree with mine, let me know. The openings gave Bleach its uniqueness uh, and it's the first thing you saw when you popped open Toonami or Crunchyroll and just watched Bleach. And I think Bleach has some of the best openings in uh, anime history. So tell me your favorite openings. Tell me your listings if you want to go through all that trouble. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the game. My name is Vita Kutabrowski. I love doing these kinds of things. And this video was a lot to do. It took a while because I really didn't... Um, <laughs> It was just, uh, I didn't really know what to agree on. And maybe uh, a month down the road after I release this video, uh, I'll probably change my opinion again. <laughs> so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you'll see this video up without being taken down because openings on Bleach are hard to survive. But with that being said, my name is Dakota Broski. Take care. Don't forget, we're launching a Patreon today. Please consider becoming a Patreon. It really helps me out. And I think it's going to be a fun, fun little treat. So with that being said, take care and enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna go listen to more Bleach openings, not on YouTube, because YouTube hates him.